Uh, good afternoon. My name is Yuki. Uh, today, oh, sorry. Uh, today I would like to talk about the uh, integrated radiolaria and conodont biostratigraphy from the new tri Triassic and Jurassic boundary section in Japan. Okay. This figure shows geological event across the TJ boundary. The Central Atlantic Magmatic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> so, camp volcanism uh, triggered global uh, triggered global environmental change and uh, bio biotic crisis. Uh, the taxa affected, including the sporomorphos and uh, megaflora on the land, and uh, oh, and uh, the. Ammonite, ammonoid and uh, radiolarian and conodonts in ocean. In Japan, in Japan, the radiolarian faunal change and extinction of uh, Triassic conodonts are known to occur within a short period of time. Two Japanese TJ boundary sections are present in Inuyama, uh, central Japan. The Katsuyama and Kurusu. Detailed radiolarian biostratigraphic uh, biostratic data indicate that uh, many uh, genera disappeared at the end of Triassic. And uh, recently, data show that a few species conodonts persist into the Jurassic. Two years ago, a new outcrop around the TJ boundary appeared in the new in the Inyam area. So in this study, we undertook a high resolution radiolarian and conodon stratigraphic distribution across the newly discovered TJ in B interval in Katsuyama, Japan. This figure shows the geological map of the Inyam area. The new TJ boundary section is located here, Katsuyama section. Uh, this area comprises a Jurassic subduction generated accretionary complex and two histological <coughs> types of buried chart are uh, observed. A type chart has a distinct shell parting between chart bed, and F type chart has no shell parting. This picture is an aerial view of the study section Katsuyama B. And this study section is a lateral extension of the previous study section, Katsuyama. Okay. Katsuyama B section consists uh, mainly of a succession of red bedded chart within a thickness of 12.6 uh, meter. And uh, the stratigraphic interval indicated that by the yellow dashed lines have a distinct uh, purple bedded chart interval. The thickness is uh, about uh, 1.8 meter. Okay, this is the biostratigraphic result of conodonts and uh, radiolaria. Uh, we can get uh, so many species and very beautiful Possibly. Oh, but oh, you can see. Okay, okay. Well, in total, 10 species of uh, conodont uh, in three genera and uh, 104 species uh, of radiolaria in 50, uh, 53 genera. Okay. The following slide I, uh, show a detailed result of conodonts. Okay. In the lower part of uh, this section, Norian conodont species occurred, such as uh, Mokina bidentata, Mokina mosheri, and Miskira hornsteini. Hornsteini, so, sorry. In the upper part of uh, this section, we found uh, Leichian conodont species, such as Miskira post hornsteini and Miskira kobach. In the uppermost part, in this section, conodonts no longer occurred. 
Based on our result, the base of Lei Chang is uh, defined by the first occurrence of Mischel post helen staining and the age of uh, the buried chart in this section assigned, uh, is assigned to upper Norian to upper most region. Okay, next is the result of radiolarians. In the lower part of this section, late Norian radiolarian species occurred such as Betrachium deberi and Dissemeras olubia. In the upper part of uh, the section, we found region uh, larian species such as Globulaxoram totzeri and Hecericritium graviola. Okay. And the upper part of uh, uppermost part of the this, 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 this section, sorry, we found uh, the Jurassic larian species such as Fantanilium tamens and uh, Bipedis horiae. So based on our result, the first occurrence of pantanilium, pantanilium uh, is uh, what's uh, assigned to the base of the Jurassic uh, following previous study. And uh, the age of buried chat in this study section can be assigned the upper Norian to lower most Jurassic. Next, we focused on around TJ boundary. In this figure, the study, sorry, the stratigraphic range of conodonts and uh, Triassic radiolarians and uh, Jurassic radiolarian are colored respectively. So you can see conodonts and Triassic radiolarian co occurred with uh, Jurassic radiolarians uh, up to approximately 1.1 meter above the TJ boundary. Okay. And the interesting results were observed around the TJ boundary. Mesosaturnalis species occurred highly abundant, only uh, 0 0.6 meter across the TJ boundary. So they have generally 6 to 20 uh, narrow tapering spines around the uh, uh, outer part of the ring. The stratigraphic interval uh, is uh, identified as Mesosaturnalis acme zone. So this zone is uh, possibly an indicator for the TJ boundary. Okay, summary of results so far. We established a high resolution integrated uh, radiolarian and conodont biostratigraphy at the new TJ boundary section. And we also uh, established the Mesosaturnalis Acme zone at the TJ boundary. Okay, in this slide, the result of uh, the study and uh, those of previous study are known, uh, are shown side by side. Okay, let's complete, compare the two sections. First, the purple chart, purple buried chart interval uh, from study section has a total thickness of 1.8 meter. On the other hand, only one or two layer were present in the previous study section. Second, so sudden biotic turnover of Triassic radiolarians uh, reported by previous study, but uh, could not observed in this study. So I, uh, high abundance of uh, Mesosaturnalis species in our study section has not been observed, uh, reported by the previous study section. So the stratigraphic interval, or the, which is uh, recognized as uh, Mesosaturnalis acme zone may be missing in the previous study section. Next, uh, we show the biostratig biostratigraphic data of two TJ boundary section, the Queen Charlotte Island and the Buloba Basin. Mesosaturnalis species were reported uh, from 
these sections. This is a RISO and chemostratigraphic data from the Budova Basin, Montenegro. Based on the radiolarium biostratigraphy, a TJ boundary is set here, and uh, the mesosatinous species were reported by the sample of uh, marked star. They may be similar to mesosatinous species from our study, like this. And uh, in the Queen Charlotte Islands, uh, detailed radiolarium biostratigraphy have been studied. The figure shows the biostratigraphy traffic data from Kunga Island, Canada. The tissue boundary, ha, boundary has been identified uh, here uh, based on radiolarium biostratigraphy. And in this section, the mesosatinase acuminatus occurred highly abundant for a short interval across the TJ boundary. We present a, uh, present a summary chart comparing the, this study and the previous study. Sudden um, abundance, uh, abundant occurrence of mesosaturnalis species across the TJ boundary was uh, observed from this study section and uh, Kunga Island and Buruba Basin. So mesosaturnalis acumet zone is likely to be a um, good indicator for TJ boundary. So on the other hand, but, uh, the Katsuyama section and the Kurus section have not identified mesosaturnalis acumezone. This suggests that the stratigraphic interval across the TJ boundary in Katsuyama and Kurus may be missing. Okay, this is my conclusion. Uh, we undertook a high-resolution radiolarian chronodon stratigraphic distribution of the new uh, TJ boundary section in Japan. Uh, our biostratigraphic studies revealed that the some region radiolarian and chronodon fauna occurred in the earliest Jurassic with Jurassic radiolarian species. And uh, unusually abundant occurrence uh, previously identified mesosaturnalis species is observed a short interval across the TJ boundary in the study section. Okay, so the mesosaturnalis acumid zone is likely to be excellent indicator for TJB. Okay, thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.